Today, I'm gonna to teach you about one of Cloudway's most helpful features, application cloning. With application cloning, you can make an exact copy of your website, which can be useful for many reasons. You might wanna duplicate an existing site on the same server, move your website to a different server, or set up a staging site so you can test changes without risking your live website. I'll go over all of that in this video. If you aren't a Cloudways customer yet, make sure you check out the description for a link that will give you an extra discount in addition to the free trial Cloudways already offers. Let's get started. Okay, here we are signed into Cloudways and the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to duplicate an existing website on the same server. So I'm gonna come up here and search for the website I want to duplicate and I am going to select that one. And then you wanna to go to quick actions in the top right and then choose clone app slash create staging. And then since we are duplicating this, cloning it onto the same server under select server, we are going to select the server that says same server next to it. And then we're going to click continue. Now, let me explain one of the reasons why you might wanna do this, which is why I do it often for my business is I have something called, as you see here, a website blueprint. So what this is, is I create a base WordPress, uh, kind of like website template, which includes all of the plugins I use often, all of the themes I use often, and all of the settings I usually have on a new website, just so when I have another website, like a new client come, it's real easy, I don't have to start from scratch, I can just duplicate the blueprint and then build it out for that client and it saves me a lot of time and makes my life way, way easier. So this might be extra useful if you're a website designer like me and you build websites out for your clients and you wanna start things out with the same settings. Note that this may take a little while to finish up, but after it's done, you can click into applications and you should be able to see the cloned website right there. And if you click into it and then you view it with the application URL, it should look exactly like the original website. Now, if you wanted to move it to another server, you would do kind of the same thing. You would go to quick actions in the top right and then you would click clone app, create staging. Except this time you would either select another existing server you have or you would click new server and create a new server. Now this might be really useful if, for example, you have a website and it grew a lot and for performance reasons, it just makes sense to bring it to another server. It's important here to remember that you need to make sure that if you are moving a site to a different server, it has the same version of PHP. If not, things might get a little messed up. And if you're doing this for a website that's already live, you're gonna wanna make sure to do a ton of testing to make sure everything moved over okay. And then you're going to have to update your DNS settings with the new IP address for the new server. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video tutorial. I will link it in the description below. Now, if you want to do a staging site from this dialog box, you would probably want to test it on the same server because staging is for testing. So you want it to be the same environment as a live site. And then you want to check here, create a staging and then click continue. Now this is gonna take a little while to set up, so while that's happening, let me explain to you a little bit about staging sites. Staging sites are a great way to test new changes, new designs, new features without risking the live site. A staging site is a duplicated website that can be accessed with the same link, but search engines can't find it and you can password protect it if you'd like. All of your staging site changes will only show up on your live site if you push them live, and I will show you how to do this once that's done setting up. Many other hosts charge for staging sites, but Cloudways includes it in all their plans. And when that's done, we can go into applications, and you're gonna see that come up first, and it also is going to have a little staging tag next to it. So let's go ahead and open up the live site in a new tab so I can quickly show you how staging sites work and how we are going to be able to overwrite this live site with the staging site. So we'll come back here and we'll go back into the staging site this time. And I'm gonna turn off password protection just so it's easier to see during this tutorial. 
I'm gonna go into the application URL and we're going to see that it is exactly the same. And up here, I'm gonna put slash WP admin so we can get into the admin area. And since this is a direct copy of your live site, go ahead and put in your login information for your live site and then click login. And now that we're here on the dashboard, I'm just going to make one random change. I am pretty sure that this website is set up as the base to just have posts on the front page. So I am just going to make a test post real quick hit publish. And then when that is done, I am going to view the post and click back into the home page. And now we can see that there is a change here. There is a post here, right? And we can look at that on the staging site and see that it's there. And then we can look at it on the live site and see that it's not there. So after we do all the changes we want to do on the staging site and we know we want them to go live, we have to push them live. So to do that, pop back into Cloudways and we have this staging site open here and then we're going to go into staging management and then we are going to click this push button which is going to copy the data from staging to live. So we're going to click that and then I am going to check that I want to include web application files and also the full database. And you can take a backup here if you want. I'm not going to for the tutorial just so it doesn't take up extra time. And then I'm going to click proceed. And then we have to give this a little bit for the copying to actually happen. This is obviously going to take longer if your website is bigger. And then when that is done, let's go ahead and take a peek at the live site. And I'm going to refresh this. And there we go. Now we have the staging changes pushed to the live website. If you don't see these changes, and even if you do, it's a good idea to clear the cache on your live site just to make sure the newest files are being delivered. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a tutorial showing you how, and I will link that in the description below. And when you're done, it's also a good idea to delete your staging site from your server so it's not eating up server resources. So double check, triple check that you have the staging site selected up here and then go to quick actions on the top right and then click delete application. Confirm again that this is your staging site you're deleting down here and then go ahead and enter in delete and then click delete application. And that's it. Now you know how to clone an application on Cloudways to move or duplicate your website and create a staging site. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you are building your own website, make sure to check my description because I created a nine step website roadmap to DIY your first website and it'll take you through everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.